Now we're going to take a look at the drop down option for templates. This allows you to put a simple drop down field that will appear in your SharePoint list view. Of course, this is a very common control. What's unusual is we're going to make it so that that control appears directly in the list view and you don't have to go into the edit form to update your choice field. This also fits into another template closely related to this, which is the cascading drop down template, which allows you to first select an option in a choice field and then that will change the options available in a connected secondary choice field. So this is uh, closely related to that. In order to use this template, you do need to provide some information. So first of all, I need to put in the name of the SharePoint field where I want this dropdown to appear. In my case, I have a field called food categories. So I'm just gonna enter that there. There's a field, field directly underneath this called clear field. This is only required in the case that you're going to use the uh, connected drop-down template. And what this does is clears out the value in that secondary field. If you're just doing the drop-down with no uh, connected drop-down like that, you don't have to worry about that. You can leave that blank. The next thing we need to do is we need to provide the actual choices. It won't pick this up automatically. So that's really easy to get. You can just go to your list and you can go to the list settings and go to the field and uh, just copy and paste those choices. So in my case, it's food categories. I'm just gonna go in here, select all, copy, and then I can just exit out and then you paste that into the choices area. So replace those dummy options with your choices, just like that. So just simple copy and paste. You do have some different theme options you can pick from, um, so be sure to check those out. I'm just gonna go with the uh, you know, default option here. So just choose uh, whichever one you want. And then um, once that's ready, that's all that you'll need to do. You can make tweaks to the colors and appearance um, however you want. There's lots of options there. And then of course, once you're ready, just click on copy template and then follow the instructions in the pop-up window, click OK. And then you're gonna go to your field in SharePoint, go to the column header, column settings, format this column, select advanced mode, and then you're going to paste in your code. So there you see it's changed that simple text display to an interactive dropdown. So I can just click on that, pick different options, however I see fit. And then of course, if I wanna tweak this, um, I can come back in and you know do things like update colors. So for example, uh, maybe I wanna make the hover uh, background color you know yellow instead, and then um, change this color too. You can see that has a different kind of appearance. So um, maybe I want to make the font size a little bit smaller too. So I change that. It's a little bit smaller. So I can make those little adjustments and then just reapply the template the same way you did the first time. So I'll go back to column settings, format this column, and just paste in, just replace what you had before. And then you'll see it'll update, um, you know, to whatever you've changed it to. So it's really easy to make those tweaks. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, you can find this template at SharePoint-Boards.com. A link is provided below the video. If you don't yet have this tool, you can sign up for 20 free templates. So uh, be sure to go to the site and you just need to provide an email and you can get signed up for that. Good luck.